So in our last video, we got things looking a lot closer to how they look in the template. But as you can see, there's definitely some images not loading. Um, there's also some graphics that aren't really loading. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get to those issues now. Um, so go ahead and open up the code. Um, also in the last video, I noticed there was a missing semicolon here. Just go ahead and add that, save that out. All right, so um, first things first, let's go to the header and let's handle what's going on with those graphics. So here we obviously have this font awesome that we're not utilizing. So if you go to font awesome's actual site, I believe they have a link to it. Um, so yeah, getting started. So this is the quickest way to kind of get it going anyways, um, prevents you from having to set up all the files and link to all of them. Uh, but right here, we're just going to go ahead and put that link right there. Save that. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the changes. We should see our stars. Yep. All right. And now there's our social icons. Okay. Um, the second thing that's not popping up is our main image here. So let's take a look at what's going on there so sometimes when you don't get images loading uh, you'll need to go ahead and inspect the element and see what exactly is happening so in this case we're looking for image slash profile dot png now as you can remember I went ahead and copied all of the images into our theme directory so you can see profile.png is right there, but it's not in our root directory of the site uh, because it's in our theme directory. So what we're going to need to do is go to, I believe it's in the header. Actually, it's in the index. And there it is. OK. so. What we're going to do is go ahead and add a PHP tag inside of the double quotes for the source of the image. And here we're going to use get template directory URI. So we're going to need to add a trailing slash there. OK, so what that's going to do is, like I said in the previous video, inside this functions area, is basically the same thing. It's just going to get the path to our theme directory root, and then it's going to look for that image folder and then the profile image. And let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we didn't get it, so let's take a look, inspect the element, and see what's going on. OK, so here's why we didn't get it. Um, anytime you see get, it's going to return a variable. It's not going to echo it out. So get returns the echoes. So like if we said echo template directory URI and then save it out, now you'll see there's our image. Now. Go ahead and inspect this, and I'll just show you. So you can see, this is our root directory. Then it calls the bootstrapped to WordPress. Um, you know, this is our root directory, all that. And then WP content, that's the folder where our themes lie. And then the bootstrap to WordPress theme, and then the rest of it. So. Now it's looking in the correct place for that image, and it's there, so it's loading it. The portfolio images, we're going to ignore that uh, for the moment because we're going to kind of do that a little bit differently. And really, we're just going to use what the code that's existing there as kind of a template to how we're going to build that out. Um, so ignore that for the moment. Um, all right. so. That all looks good. Now, if you click this um, nav, it works and everything. Um, so we're 
probably good to go there. There is a way to make your theme um, editable from the from the menu, but we're not going to bother with that for this tutorial because this is a single page site, so all the contents on one page. Um, down the line, I'm going to do another project that's going to be a multi-page, much more complex, um, some more advanced techniques and stuff like that. And we'll get into how to generate your your menu and all that. But uh, for this video, we're just not going to worry about that because it's a, a little bit out of scope for this project. Let's go ahead and start adding areas where we can kind of edit this content um, and change it to whatever we want it to be strictly from the admin area. So first, let's take a look at this Start Bootstrap. We can look into the image a little bit later, but uh, for now, I'm just going to leave the image. Um, OK, so inside here, what we're going to do is add a PHP tag. So we've removed the Start Bootstrap. Now we're going to uh, generate that from the settings area. And we want the site title to pop up there. And then below that, we'll have the tagline. Okay, so this is probably just a good tip. If you're if you're really just getting into WordPress, you'll use this a lot as uh, it's difficult to kind of remember all these things. But this is how, um, if you don't understand a function, how you can kind of learn exactly what it does. So like I said, if you want to display the site title, you go ahead and grab blog info and then pass it name. So we'll go ahead and do that here. And then we're going to pass it name and semicolon. All right, so now we go back to our site and bootstrap to WordPress. OK, so that looks good. And as you can see, that's what we have here. Um, now, if we wanted it to say start bootstrap, we could do that, save it out. And then go here and refresh. All right, good. So now we know that this is being populated from the admin area to, you know, the site from here. So that's good. Um, so now it's got more versatility. Uh, it's starting to get some admin functionality. Um, the next thing would be web developer, graphic artist. This this area. Um, a good tip, anytime you've got some text here, um, go ahead and, well, I hate how that does that. Um, we'll just go ahead and add it to it, PHP. Um, blog info. Now, to get that tag, we need to know what parameter to pass this. So it looks like the tagline is passed with this description. And we'll go ahead and pass that. And then now we can go ahead and copy and paste this or just uh, cut it out of this. So just hitting Command X or Control X. Um, so that's saved and then save that out. And then in here, it just puts this onto every tagline uh, for any new WordPress site. So we'll just change it to this. Save changes. and save that out, or uh, refresh it. And there we go. All right, so nothing looks like it changed because we didn't change anything. We just changed how it's being populated. All right, so the next thing is probably the portfolio. And you know what? Th that's probably a good stopping place for this video. I know we didn't do a whole ton, um, but the portfolio really is going to take a lot more time to kind of set up. And so we want to make sure that we devote a full video to that. Um, and then we'll got to figure out a way to kind of handle this about area, um, figure out you know how to handle the button and all that stuff. And then we'll later get into doing this contact form, and we'll be pretty much done.